Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk to you guys about hunting. Hunting is a subject I haven't really touched upon much here on the Military Arms Channel in the past, but this year that's going to change just a little bit. One of the primary reasons why I want to show hunting on the channel, and not a whole bunch, I'm not going to make this a hunting channel, but I'm going to roll the content in occasionally this year just to see how it's received. But I want to show people that the rifles that I prefer, like this Styrog A3 that's sitting here in front of me, are not only military type rifles, but they have an application outside of the military. I don't think that the Second Amendment protects our right to hunt. It protects our right to keep and bear arms, period. It's not conditional. So I don't buy into the whole sporting purposes clause, and that's not why I'm doing this. But I do want to show people that the guns that some of the anti-gunners out there defame and talk down and say they have no purpose in the hands of sporter, a sportsman across America, that that's just a patently false assertion. These guns not only provide for our security, but they can also put food on the table if need be. There's nothing about this Styrog A3 sitting here in front of me that makes it any less effective as a hunting tool. As a matter of fact, as you see it configured with this night vision sight, it's quite an effective hunting tool. We'll talk about that more in future videos. But I posted some pictures on Instagram and on Facebook this past weekend, and it drew the ire of a few folks out there. And I'm not sure if these people just complain about all things guns or if they're followers of the channel, they and they took exception to what I was talking about. Now, of course, you can hunt to put food on the table, but there's also hunting sports out there that where you hunt purely for the sport of hunting. You're not hunting to put food on the table. You're hunting to control animal populations and to be quite honest with you because it's fun. I won a, a recent coyote hunt with the rifle that you see here. I'm going to continue doing a few more hunts so I have some good video to show you guys here pretty soon in the next few weeks uh, about this rifle and about the night vision sight that you see here from Wolf Performance Optics. But they kind of got mad at me because they were angry that I was hunting coyotes, saying that since I wasn't going to eat the coyote, that I shouldn't be hunting it for sport, that hunting for sport was wrong. And I disagree with that. I don't believe that's true. Now I want to talk about this from a couple of different angles, but let's talk about coyotes first of all. One of the people that made some comments on, I think it was Instagram, said that I shouldn't be hunting coyotes because I can make a conscious decision not to do it, that I had a choice whether or not I chose to hunt, and that hunting for sport was wrong. The coyotes in my area overpopulate like you wouldn't believe. They also harass farmers, destroy livestock, and can be harmful to the environment that they're in when they overpopulate. And of course, when they overpopulate, then they die a not so pleasant death of starvation. So hunting, especially in the case of the coyote and other species as well, but in this case coyotes, Hunting helps to control those populations. Being shot, in my opinion, is far more merciful than dying a slow death of starvation because you're overpopulating. So controlling the populations of certain predators like coyotes, I don't think is immoral or bad or, or tasteless as this person was asserting. And I also don't think that just because we have a choice whether or not to hunt coyotes means that we shouldn't hunt them. Hunting is, is fun, it's exciting. That, that, that primal excitement that you feel when you sit down in a field in a blind waiting to do, uh, waiting for the hunt to start or while you're sitting there waiting for the prey to come in, that is quite natural. And the reason we're wired to feel that excitement is because it is natural. We, and this is something else that, that kind of drives me nuts. I want to get off that topic here for just a second too. Another thing that kind of drives me nuts about the anti-hunting group is that they somehow think that perhaps we're not part of the ecosystem on the planet, that we are outside of it. We live in a bubble on the planet. And everything else that goes, around, uh, goes on around us does so without us. And if we get involved in any way whatsoever, we're harming the ecosystem. We're bad for the planet. I think that's ridiculous to believe that. Okay, We are a critical part of the ecosystem on this planet, the fact that we hunt is an important part of the ecosystem on this planet. There's nothing unnatural about what we do, be it hunting, be it building and driving cars or building skyscrapers. Everything that we do on this planet is quite natural because we're part of this planet. We've been here the entire time. Well, you know, not the entire time, but when we made our appearance, I don't believe aliens put us here on the planet and we just started screwing things up. We're a natural part of this planet. Everything that we do instinctively, such as hunting, is quite natural and an important part of the ecosystem. So anyway, they were giving me a hard time about the coyotes and saying that, well, killing for sport is wrong and that uh, the coyote, for example, doesn't kill for sport. 
People that say that don't understand predators in general, not just humans, but coyotes or other predators. Predators do kill for sport or for other reasons than to eat. All you have to do is go out and sit in the woods and watch predators at work to learn that. Or hell, go buy a, a house cat and you'll see what predators do. Cats will toy with mice, kill them. They don't always eat them. My cats, most of the time, I just find dead mice laying around or they bring them up and give them to me as, as gifts. Predators most certainly do kill and not always to eat. They'll kill over territorial disputes. They'll kill to keep their hunting skills honed. They'll kill to teach their young how to kill. It's just a natural part of what we are and what we do as predators. Now, I, I realize some of you guys out there are, are uh, vegans or vegetarians and you don't want to eat meat for whatever reason. I don't have a problem with that. That is a decision you can make. But I'll tell you right now, I crave meat. We are meat eaters by design. We are meat eaters. And so when I crave a steak, if I'm walking down the street and I smell a, a steak cooking, again, something flips inside of me and there's just this urge to eat that steak. I smell bacon cooking in the morning. Man, I want that bacon. When I see a pig walking across the ground, I see dinner. Okay, I don't see a cute, cuddly little pet. A cow standing in the field, that's dinner to me. I don't see it as a pet. I don't think it's immoral to kill the cow. Okay, predators are just, well, predators in particular, must eat to survive and we kill to survive. It's a natural part of what we do. And a lot of these people that have a problem with hunting totally disregard the fact, unless they're vegans or vegetarians, disregard the fact that they'll go into the supermarket and buy pre-processed meat and just because the blood isn't on their hands that somebody else killed that animal and butchered it for them, that somehow they're absolved of any wrongdoing and they can criticize folks like myself that enjoy hunting. So I wanted to kind of address that in this video. I want to let you guys know that I will be doing some future hunting videos. we got some really cool stuff lined up. It should be a lot of fun. We're going to be using some cool equipment like this Wolf Night Vision uh, that you see here on this Styrog. And we got some other pretty cool stuff in the pipeline coming down that will make for some very entertaining and informative videos about hunting. Now, I may not post all the videos on YouTube because YouTube has some goofy regulations and rules about showing kill shots or animals being killed. So I may have to wind up posting the full videos over on Full30.com. And if you guys haven't checked out Full30.com, please do. I'll put a link in the description below. So I'll wind up posting the full videos over there and I'll post some of the videos here on YouTube as well. If you guys have any questions or comments about hunting, what your thoughts are, if you would like to see hunting videos here on the Military Arms Channel or if you wouldn't, I like to read your comments. I take them all into consideration. And please make those comments in the comments section down below. I also invite you guys to come by and check out Copper Custom. That's our online store. If you want to support the Military Arms Channel, the best way to do that is to come to Copper Custom and shop there. We have a lot of great products at some very competitive prices. And again, that's the best way to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys watching and taking the time to watch these videos and share the videos. And if you guys have any questions, of course, you can ask those questions on our Facebook page. I'll put a link down below to Facebook. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you guys soon.